In problem two, we're told the mean weight of an apple in a grove is 5.4 ounces. And we're also told that the standard deviation is 0.5 ounces. The owner of the grove has a roadside stand and he's selling boxes of 36 apples. That's our sample size, 36. What proportion of boxes contain at least 200 ounces of apples? So the way I would look at this is you have a box and it's got 200 apples in it. And we're interested in what's the probability that one of these boxes has at least 200 ounces of apples. The problem with comparing this to this is this number represents a single apple. This is representing 36 apples. So a quick remedy is just divide 200 by 36 and you get 5.5 repeating. If the mean weight of apples in this box is at least 5.5 repeating, then the overall weight of the 36 apples in the, in the crate or the box is going to be at least 200. So let's use this number here as our x. Now, since we're talking about 36 apples, we have to use our z formula that has sample standard deviation in it. So that's x minus mu over s. S is going to be our previous standard deviation divided by the square root of 36. Which is about 0 0.083. All right, so 5.56 if we round, we're using our x right now, minus the mean all over our sample standard deviation. We end up with a z-score of about 1.93. Now before I look this up, I'm going to try to draw a picture here showing what we're going to look up. Our mean is 5.4. And we're interested in at least means of 5.56, which is about two standard deviations away. So maybe it's about here, 5.5 repeating. We're interested in this value. And this picture helps. It tells us about how large our probability should be. So looking up 1.93, And if we look at the positive z-score, it's going to give us that left side area again. A little trick to use here is just jump over to the negative one. If we look up negative 1.93, we won't have to subtract by 1 as we did in the previous problem. So if we look up negative 1.93, 1 1.93.0268. So our probability is 0 two, six, eight.